Hello everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Now first of all I must apologise, in the last uh, couple of days I've had a couple of missed days of uploads. Uh, the majority of that was to the fact that on one day I played tennis and was pretty tired after that and so I didn't feel quite up to recording. Um, but the, the one-off series that I normally record and would have released today at the time of recording, um, I tried to record Binding of Isaac and it gave me the biggest stress in terms of recording and it just didn't want to work it didn't want to record the audio wouldn't work it just didn't want to play ball and I'm, i didn't have time i tried recording it three times um and by the time that was done it still hadn't worked um, I'm, i didn't have time to record another one uh, which is a real shame because i don't like missing days and especially don't like missing series which only happen once a week so i might try to do a double day a double upload later in the week um, with with a one-off, is that that kind of frustrates me. Um, so I'll see what I can do, but very much apologies for that. Currently, uh, but now we're going to get back into Crusader Kings three. In the last episode, we were desperately trying to acquire a son, including a slightly embarrassing moment which happened down here in Athlone, which you know we don't speak about because you know our daughter. Um, but look, I thought again we would have a look, take a little look at what's happening on the world map. Um, we saw Dane Law being very strong here uh, under Queen um, Ragnil, Harold's, Harold's data. Um, definitely a strong force to be contended with and someone we cannot take on. We've also got the Petty Kingdoms of Gwynedd and um, De Hubruth, um in Wales, as well as some smaller Petty Kingdoms forming, uh, forming in uh, Ireland. The Holy Roman Empire is definitely still looking strong, although Italy is looking very um, crazy with all that different border gore happening there. Poland, Hungary and Croatia still look strong enough, as does Ruthina, and Sweden look Sweden Denmark look okay if not too strong. Denmark seems to be under a lot of pressure at the moment, but they do have a lot of strength as they are allied to the Byzantine Empire down here. Seljuk's looking good. Um, and from the one surprising thing, which isn't one surprising area, which isn't doing quite as well, is France here. I mean, don't get me wrong; they're still doing well, but the um, Aquitaine has got independent, allowing for a rather strong force alongside Brittany um, to be attacking France. Although they do have a truce with France, they are attempting to take the county of Bourbon here. As well as a couple of uh, smaller states, as Tuscany, Upper Burgundy. That is how things look. At the moment, of course, Iceland is still being itself up in the top left of the map. I don't really ever see that changing much. But for us, we simply need to get us another sun from somewhere, because then we get to keep all this land, which would be really useful, so that we can um, go into Strathclyde and win. And first of all, we can enforce our demands, which is lovely. So we can bring, um, we can bring someone. In. Um, we keep the contested, co contested county, and we get some money, which is lovely. So he's not going to be all too fond of us, but we've won the war. To my vassal, be you and your house, I regret to inform you that I have decided to increase your contractual obligations. Surely you understand my plight, Moray is in dire need of protection, and your contribution plays a huge part. And besides, you owe me. We're going to be taxed a little more by our liege due to the weak hook. There's not a whole lot we can do about that, unfortunately. We are working on a claim here. And we've also got um, increased control in the county, but all of that doesn't really matter at the time being. For the moment, we just need to find someone that we can have a son with, not you. Um, you're 35, you're probably getting on a bit in age. Is there no one that we can... Is there someone in Danelaw that we could potentially... Um, we could potentially... Seduce... What about you? 5%? You know what? We'll do it. Um, she might be melancholic, but if she gives us a, a son, that's, that's what matters. So is there anything we can do to increase this? Anything at all. We do have some hooks and secrets. 
Our counsellor. Oh, our mayor died after so long. That's the first major death we've seen is our steward. We do not have many good... Okay, we do have some good stewards. We've got Finbar here. But we'll... Finbar's a knight, so we'll go with Iowerth, who's still pretty good, just a little further down. I still don't believe we can divorce our wife, no. I've been made aware that Countess Girid is very close to her friend Mariah, or Maria. Gaining her favour might help me catch Grid's attention. So she could get a weak hook on us. The scheme success chance goes up by 15. We can pay 50 gold, but that's only a 50% chance. No, we're going to let Maria have a, have a weak hook on us. Um, in order for the chance to, um, in order for the chance to for things to continue, um, she looks to be quite the catch actually. Aggressive attacker, holy warrior, tough soldier, compassionate, generous, and calm. Definitely someone to keep an eye on. Um, we've got seven months to try and get this to happen. Can we send you a gift? Fifty gold done. Um, we could offer you a ward, but you're Catholic and Norwegian, so maybe not. There's only five months left. Okay, we've got another learning lifestyle perk. Um, so I think we'll switch over to intrigue in a second, but we'll go for wash your hands, as we don't want to get ill, as we want to stay alive for as long as possible. And we're going to head over to Temptation Focus, because that's going to be perfect timing. For intrigues, so that's going to just increase our chances. And hopefully just somewhere we can get a son. I don't care if it's the most illegitimate son from the, from the with with absolutely nobody, but we just need to be able to, able to get a child from somewhere so we can hold on to these three counties that we've earned. Um, you know, it's not always going to... It may not always be successful, but that's... That, that's that's the, that's the chance we take, I think. And, you know, it's not always successful. <laughs> Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to discover any secrets of King Duncan's court. Um, that's fine. You can disrupt schemes. That's absolutely fine. We've gained an increased military presence. Our control is still pretty low in Galloway, so if we send... Who gives us increased control? It's going to be our marshal. Hang on. Let's... Send you over to increase control there. A reading in Hurting Stone. The celebrations have come to an end, and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when our seduction, or our, our person we we're trying to seduce, suggested a reading. The clerk soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress Gyrid. She is shy, lazy, generous. She should give her something informative, something entertaining, something about religion. Let us do something entertaining and hope that goes for the best. Okay, so she suggested it again. Right. We could give her something religion, something entertaining, or something informative. Once again, we'll go for something entertaining, hopefully. But either way, we need seduction to work. We just need a child from somewhere. You know, whatever the whatever the cost morally may be, we just we just need a son. And, you know, that may come at a cost. Okay, she... We, we... No, something entertaining. Let's try that again. The game is, does not seem to understand. Can we send you another gift? It's not going to give us any more modifying power. Success chance is okay. Come on, 65%. Countess Greed's reactions to my advances tell me everything I need to know. The time has come to put my plan into action. I think my chances are good, yet I must remember that Countess Greed's Earl Sighelm is always watching. We will give it a go. Here we go. Onto the open sky. Countess Greed and I crouch side by side, the flighty heart in us, in front of us, aware of our presence. My own attention is unwavering, especially as Gride's blouse brushes against mine. When I reach over to embrace her, I find that she has her attention elsewhere. 
As the heart disappears into the Taiga, uh, we get cradled by the soft earth <laughs> as well as each other. She becomes our lover. Wonderful. Yeah, she becomes our lover. Well, hey, we've got an achievement followed by shadows. What does that mean? We know ten secrets simultaneously. Okay, so now that we have her as a lover, can we speak to her? And we could offer... <laughs> we can marry her in secret. I don't think so. But what I could really do with actually having a child with her. That would be very useful indeed. Um, but okay, we've, we've managed to seduce one person. Can we get someone else? What about you, lovely redhead? You're going to be no because you're lower. Lower percentage, but we'll give it a go. The time has come to let my feelings known towards Dusha, the Duchess be known. I want her to remember this day for the rest of her life. She is diligent, impatient, just... She's intellectual. Um, so we could... I think we'll go with my gut in the moment. The candle is burning low when I finally finish, finally, finally finish my poem. Before I send it, I give it one last read. Your glorious laugh is the rock I cling to in stormy seas. I would be blessed if I could hear your voice again, that I may know the warmth of your embrace. May our love grow and flourish evermore. The, wait is, uh, the waiting is unbearable. The thought of rejection makes me sick to my stomach. When her reply arrives, I tear the seal with shaking hands. While I cannot encourage you, Junaid, I am most grateful for your kind words. Yours faithfully, Ash Ashild. She hasn't completely... She's not completely thrown us away. We sent her 50 gold... And we're going to because more. The more we can do, the better, I think. It's going to take three years to try um seduce the Duchess of Mer Mercia. And it may not happen. But we desperately, desperately need a child. Duchess Noir has a declared war on King Malcolm the Fourth. What's happened here? A liberty war. And actually, it seems like Duchess Nuala is going to take this one. Um, that's very interesting indeed, so we'll have to see how that plays out. I don't particularly want to get involved, if I'm honest with you. Um, but we'll see what we can do. She's looking very grumpy. I suppose we do have a lover, so... It's not overly surprising in the circumstances. I really wish we hadn't lost Lachlan. That's so infuriating. Um, so infuriating indeed. But not a lot we can do about that, unfortunately. Um, let's go to this. We don't need that anymore. In speaking of intrigue, no decisions. What can we do? We could host a feast. Let's do that because that sometimes ends up being useful. We're no longer overwhelmed by stress, which is nice. The guests are gathered in the great hall, lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. Let's see if we can do this. Anything we can do to gain some more to gain a male child. Feast. A laudable effort. As the feast is underway and the guests are eating, Duchess Ashfield approaches Margarita and me at the great table. This is a marvellous feast. All my compliments to the host. Feast, disaster strikes. My lord, the wine we cracked open, the next barrel. It's gone bad. It has all gone bad. The feast is still raging, but without the drink, the mood is sure to dwindle at a cruel pace. We could get Fort Thirst, so we get more prestige for 10 years. We could um, spend 75 prestige to gain some gold. We will crack open our secret stores. Why not? Give us some more prestige to work with, that's a decent amount. Um, and we're getting 50 gold from our wife. Our wife is still helping us greatly, which is lovely. Feast. As my guests depart, 
With everyone headed for their respective homes, I am proud to say that the feast was a success. I have my wife Margarita to thank her for much of its success, and I feel but nothing but gratitude as she sees the last few guests off. Oh boy. I spent a lot of time considering who might have found out about my relationship with Countess Greed. My heart beats fast as Inotius Inotius comments come charged with meaning. I try to tell myself it is all in my head. We gain 80 stress, blimey. That's not overly great, but we, whatever the cost, we must have a son. We must have a son. So anything we can do... Oh boy, he's found out. Okay, we've gained adulterer. And people aren't very... People aren't very happy with us, especially our wife. Um, and our lover has be, um, become has become imprisoned by um, her husband. <laughs> As my wife's Margarita's are my wife's Margarita's tears genuine? Perhaps this is naught but an act designed to rouse my pity. I let out an exasperated sigh as she wipes her cheek with a handkerchief. Her cheeks with a handkerchief. I know I may not be the perfect wife, but I do deserve better than this. We both do. I beg of you, come to your senses and leave that doxy. It is not too late to make things better. Um. No. I'm sorry. We must continue. She's not going to be all too fond of us now. I'm very sorry, my love. Um, and we've become an adulterer. <laughs> Um, that's not overly good. We could try romance her, but I doubt she's going to know. <laughs> she's not all too fond of this just at the moment. Um, you know, what can we do? <laughs> um, definitely, the affairs haven't, we've managed to have an affair, which is lovely, but we still haven't had a, we still haven't had any, um, children. As of late, all my visits to Ashot have been ruined by my by Reeve Samson of Sherwood. He follows her everywhere like a lost puppy. He attempts to char his attempts to charm the lady are laughable, yet I fear his persistence will be rewarded. Um, we will probably lose the jewel, so we're going to not do that. Um, we could try poison him, that couldn't go well, or we can pay ten gold done. So we've lost the romantic competitor. You have left, wonderful. No! We had a child but it wasn't meant to be. Oh no! She actually had a child and everything. Come on! He's intimidated by me. It's not going to be all too fun to us. <laughs> I wonder why. We have just seduced his wife, so that's understandable in the circumstances. We can offer you a guardianship. You can guardian... No, we need to offer you a ward. That's what we need to do. You can... Yeah, you can... You can... You can look after our son, the Radri. You're... Catholic and Anglo-Saxon, so that's not too bad. Um, she is pretty good, actually. Um, she is a astute intellectual, just, impatient, and diligent. Definitely not bad bad traits to have, although she doesn't have perfect um, stats. But that's fine. There's not a lot we can do about that. We'll just have to work with it going forward. But I, we just need a son. We just need a son from somewhere. She's become melancholic twice. That's a second health trait. We can get another claim, wonderful. But that means we have to go against King Malcolm II of Scotland, so that's not going to happen. Um, but it does mean we've got the claim for future, which is nice. Oh, okay, okay, everything pulls, everything pulls. Siege of Banff is lost. Radri and Margarita were captured. Let's um, 
We cannot ransom. We'll ransom Radri out for 10 gold. That's fine. Um, our wife. Can we just leave you in there? Well, I think we're just going to leave you in there, actually. <laughs> we'll leave Margarita in there. We lost a couple of courtiers, including our councillor. So we need a new marshal. Um, there we go. It's going to have to be this mayor here. He's not overly excellent at his job or their job, but we're just going to have to. We're just going to have to go with it. We don't have a. We don't have an alternate choice, unfortunately. Okay, so Radri's coming back to us. Our wife is not best pleased with us, but again, we don't have a choice. Um, if. Trinea dies, we go back to just having the County of Bucan, which would be really, would really be a shame. Would really be a shame, because we've worked so hard to get to where we are. Uh, we need some more knights. So let us go to decisions, and let's invite knights to the realm. Um, oh, we can visit a brothel. Done. Okay, so we'll pay 15 gold, we'll lose 78 stress, which is useful. I'm hoping that will give us a dalliance with someone we can... Um, a son will be produced out of nowhere. Although we are getting on a bit in age now, we're 56. Um, so it's not, we're not going to have a chance much longer. This morning I had a delightful encounter with a charming young servant. We joked, we laughed and we parted with glad hearts, all because I made the effort to be somewhat more personable. Perhaps I could apply this bout of flirtatious confidence to more than just my personal affairs. So we get we could get attraction opinion up. Um, we could get more of it up, even better. No, let's get attraction up, definitely. How are you doing? Are you liking us more or less? Oh, we've romanced her. Oh, I thought we were... I thought we were trying to seduce her. My bad. There is no woman lovelier than Duchess Ashfield. I will write about her. She is diligent, just... Um, so just could be... Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try to go down the um, her, her nature. Oh, she no, she wasn't all too fond of that. Let us stop. Well, she does like us though. Can we not try seduce her instead? Let's let's stop this scheme. And let's try Seducer instead, as opposed to Romance. We start a seduction scheme. It may not work, it may work, who knows. Our culture has discovered horseshoes, wonderful. Um, Greed is still imprisoned. Uh, oh. Oh, Margarita. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> My dear Margarita, I might not have loved you, yet I feel you're passing more acutely than I ever thought possible. You're always there, my constant companion. To think you would perish as a prisoner of Petty King Harold, where I left you to die because I wanted a son from another woman. Um, we'll just... <laughs> we'll pass over that. There are so many things I left unsaid. But now... <laughs> straight away, let's go find someone. Um, who's going to give us... No, not, not you. Who is going to give us... Let's go by age. Not that age, not that young. That's a bit weird. We want to find someone young and fertile. Or with attraction opinion. Pretty, there we go. She is orthodox, albeit. Uh, but we want to find someone who's going to... Give us any useful, positive traits that will help us um, that will help us give us some children 
Um, she's pretty, so fertility is up. Um, so we'll go with, I think we'll go with Ida here. Um, unless we can find anyone better. Um, she's forgiving, she's cynical. Just trying to find the best lady possible for the job. Zealous, vengeful, calm. Um, ooh, there we go. Fucking uh, fertility 50%. You, my lady. Chance of children very high. Welcome aboard. Okay. She is a bastard, but that's fine. I'm not all too worried about that. Oh, she is a bit sadistic, but then kind of fits with us, maybe. <laughs> she's Franconian, so she's part of, she's she's Germanic. Oh, Guy Red died. Okay. Um, we could spy against her. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll spy against this lady, see if we can get her on board. Good. That helped. Albeit she's still not overly fond of us at the moment, so I doubt Duchess Ashfield will, will come on board. But we can definitely give it a go, nonetheless. But I've now got to my hopes set with our lovely wife here, um, Aldo Fleeder. She's very, very fertile. Um, I think there's a way of actually seeing well, our health is poor, which isn't perfect. Um, but we just need a child from somewhere. Um, preferably a son, not a daughter. We are being raided. Wonderful. How is the war going, by the way? It's going okay, but I think that's going to be a long drawn out war. And may not have any success of any means. Grand Mayor Botsane of Visby has announced to the world that he's, he and his vassals have converted to Iconoclasm. Iconoclasm. It's an organised Christian faith, um, but they don't like spiritual symbols. Um, but we will not join them. That is not for us. Um, okay, lots of people are converting, that's fine. Um, lots of people converting. Let's actually have a look at the religions map. So we've got oh, France has gone pretty orthodox. Um, more, more, more Waladi is doing very well down here in Spain. Orthodoxy is doing pretty well over uh, in the eastern regions. A reading in Warwick. The celebrations have come to an end, and the evening's entertainment seem to be over. And she suggested a reading. She's not very pious, I think. We will give her something informative as she's an intellectual. Her attention is slipping. Great. So, this isn't going to plan. Um, mental break, wanton desires. We are going to... We, we're, we're all indeed going down this road of... of, of <laughs> of not going to be very faithful to our wife, so we're just going to have to keep on going down this this route. And here we go, Crusader Kings. Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse, and their routes are fraught with danger. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and his faithful, His Holiness Pope Alexander has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. Deus Vult. So, we can now... Christians can now go crusading, and we can be a Crusader King, as the title says. <laughs> but I tell you what, I think it will do it for this episode of Crusader Kings 3. Um, unfortunately, our wife did pass away, but we didn't really care about her towards the end anyway. We've got a new, much more fertile wife, who hopefully will provide us with a son. Um, you know, 50% plus fertility is hopefully very useful indeed. 
Um, and we don't know. You know, we don't know if this is going to going to work. But if we do, and we get a son, um, our lands will stay secure. If not, and Janea dies, we will be back down just to the Mormaidum of Bukan, and all this time will be set back. But thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.